In this video, we're going to talk about the Windows Apps folder, where it came from, what it is, and how we can delete it. Now, if you've been using Windows 10 for any amount of time, installing apps and generally using Windows in the way you'd expect, well, you may have come across this Windows Apps folder before. And first of all, you've wondered, what is it? And secondly, when you try to open it, you can't. Access denied. What? It's my machine. Where did this folder even come from? Well, the folder is one that's created when you've installed a Windows Universal Platform application, which is a bit of a mouthful. And an example of that might be an application from the Microsoft Store that might be using the same code that's designed to run on your PC and possibly your Xbox. So when you install a game to your C drive, for example, you might find this Windows Apps folder there. Now, if like me, you've got a dedicated games drive, in my case, it's my G drive for games. Pretty original, I know. There's the Windows Apps folder right there. It's there, it's annoying. What can we do about it? And full disclosure, by the way, I, I wanted this G drive to be nice and neat. So I've got a games folder and a scripts folder. Well, the games folder is pretty obvious. It contains games. The scripts folder at present only contains scripts that I use for my stream deck. And I'll get to that in another video. But right now, you can see that I use the stream deck in conjunction with some PowerShell scripts to set the output to my headphones or speakers and to set volumes and start OBS and record and a few other things that are eventually going to live here. So heading back to the root of my G drive, you can see I've got a program files folder that I didn't choose to create. Inside this is this modifiable Windows apps folder, which is empty. And of course, back to the start again, we have this Windows apps folder that we can't even open. Okay, so to figure out where this Windows Apps folder came from, first of all, let's find out what we've even got installed on my G Drive. So to do that, we'll click Start. We'll choose this Settings Cog icon here. Now we'll choose Apps. Now all of our apps are in a long list, so to find out which ones are installed on the right drive, in my case my G Drive, let's narrow it down to selecting to filter on my G Drive. Okay, so I know that one of these is the culprit, but which one though? Well, chances are, if you've only just noticed this Windows app folder, it's most likely the most recently installed app. So we could uninstall it and perhaps the issue is resolved. But we still do need to deal with this folder though. So if we go back to Windows Explorer and we double click on our Windows app folder, again, look, we've got no access. So if we click continue, now we'll click this hyperlink and that'll take us to the security tab for this folder. Now alternatively, we could cancel this. We could right click on the folder and choose properties. Then the security tab. Either way, we're going to end up here. Now, since we don't have access, this window is largely blank. A standard file or folder would have user accounts and permissions listed here. But not to worry, this is why we're here to fix it. So let's click Advanced, and we'll see that this folder is unable to tell us what the current owner is. Now it also tells us in order to display the properties of this folder, we need to have read permissions. Now every file and folder on your system has these read and write permissions. Read meaning you can take a look at a file or look inside a folder. The write permission means you can change the file or you can add files to a folder. But right now, we've got nothing. We've got no permissions at all. So who does own this folder then? Well, if we click Continue, at the bottom, we can see that the owner is in fact an account called Trusted Installer, something Microsoft uses to own a lot of important files, system files, and register entries on your computer. So let's click Change, and we can take ownership of this folder. So to do this, we'll need to enter in our username. Now you can type in your username here if you know it. So I'll type in Tim and we'll click the check names button and it should resolve the rest of the account for me. And if it's right, you'll get this little line up here underneath. Now, if you don't get the line and you have an error pop up, then check what you typed here because something isn't quite right. 
Now, if you don't know what your username is, you can certainly find out quite easy. We'll click Start. We'll type in CMD, and we'll open up a command prompt, and we'll enter in Who Am I? Yep, Who Am I? Who'd have thought it was that easy, huh? So the result for me is Tim's PC slash Tim. So for this first part, Tim's PC, as the name might suggest, is the name of my computer, or more specifically, the computer name. Every computer has one, and this is mine. And my username is Tim. Now, if you were part of a corporate domain, if this was your business PC, the first part would be the domain name. So, for example, Microsoft, if you work there, and then followed by your username. Again, you can still find this from the Who Am I command. So you can highlight this and hit enter, and that's going to copy all this to the clipboard, and we can simply paste it in. We'll click Check Names, and then click OK, and we can see that the change we're going to make when we apply this is to change the ownership of this folder to my user account, or in your case, your user account. Now, we'll also most likely want to check the box below to replace the owner of subcontainers and objects. Now, this is just a fancy way of saying files and folders. So if we don't check this box, then we'll be changing the permissions of this Windows app folder only. So any other files or folders that might live inside this folder they're not going to be affected and will still be denied access to those. So let's check this box and take ownership of everything inside as well. Now, by the way, before I apply this change, let's say you make this change and you've got some problems or maybe you just want that trusted installer account to have ownership back. Just click change and enter in NT with a space service slash trusted installer. And click check names and you can put things back the way they were. All right, so let's click OK and everything will be modified so that you are now owner of these files. Let's click OK to close the properties window and we'll now double click on the folder and you still might get a message saying it's a protected folder. But this time we'll be able to come in, take a look and decide if we need anything here. So if you want this folder gone, obviously you will need to remove any applications that are still being installed here. But by making yourself the owner of the folder, you'll be able to remove it and the contents as you see fit. Just make sure what you're deleting is something you really want removed and it's happy days from here on in. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Have a great day and we'll see you soon.